You sneak in and take the originals, you are gelling like a fellow. Again, sales associates, broker associates never get paid by members of the public. Reiterate, reiterate, <coughs> over, over, again and again. Now, uh, just to be brief about this, there are certain entities that may register to, uh, to uh, transact brokerage in brokerage, certain that may not. Please be aware of this. There is a little trick, and it's called a corporation soul. And a corporation <coughs> soul, if you turn your textbooks to page number. Ah, 17. Please be aware of it. There are sole proprietorships which are under one owner's name. So in essence, if I was a broker and I created a sole proprietorship and I called it Peter Klein Real Estate, I own it myself and I'm totally responsible for it. Now, I can call it Peter Klein Real Estate, or I can call it by a trade name, I don't know real estate. Again, sole proprietorships take on total personal liability and responsibility legally and financially. Legally and financially. Again, because of the full financial liability taken on the sole proprietorship, there's only a registration with the beeper, the Secretary of State, there must be a filing if there's any limits of liability. Do not confuse the sole proprietorship, which may register as a broker, with what you see on the bottom of page 17, a corporation sole, which is formed on, under common law principles for religious purposes. Corporation salt is not required because religious entities are protected in this country from any discrimination. But please be aware, on line 48, the corporation salt cannot register as a brokerage corporation. They are for religious purposes only. Religious entities do not file papers, do not have to pay taxes, yada, 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 religion. Peter, but you said you called Peter's Realty. I can call my company, which is a sole proprietorship, not a corporation sole, Peter Klein Real Estate, or I don't know real estate, or I don't care real estate, or how about real estate, or what you would call real estate, or what you would call it ink. But I have to be a corporation for that, right? Not a, you see, one of the issues that we come into in brokerage and you should be familiar with this, is liability issues, right? When you take full liability upon yourself, something goes wrong, you've got a heavy burden of bricks on your shoulder, right? When you pass off a liability to others, all you got is a sack, the bricks stay with the others, right? Walk away with the sack, don't carry the bricks, okay? Now, uh, another type of entity is what is called a general partnership. A general partnership is formed by two or more parties entering into a business arrangement. Now, one of the negatives, one of the positives of the general partnership is favorable tax treatment. One of the negatives of the general partnership is liability. So in a general partnership, listen to this closely, you're going to see it. Coming up on Sunday, you have a highlight, partner share, the profits equally or unequally. But general partnership, broker general partnership will be found on page 66, and it's fairly long, but we're going to be brief about it. In a brokerage general partnership, in a general partnership, not uh, just brokerage. Uh, again, two or more par parties are conducting business. Their profits may be equal or not equal. The liability issue is profound because in a general partnership, all general partners are created under law uh, as jointly and severally liable for each other's action. So again, all take 
full liability, both personally and financially, and all take full responsibility, both personally and financially. Now again, contracts can be created in a different way. Now listen to me closely. In a brokerage, general partnership, in a brokerage, general partnership, 